So now we're going to do a little bit of talking about curl in Bash. And uh, so what curl is, is a program that is used to invoke URLs. And it was specifically uh, made by uh, this person. Um, and he was adopting a command line tool, HTTP GET. And so... Um, he he needed it for more stuff, and so then 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 curl was born. So simply typing curl in the uh, command line, um, it wants us to type curl help or curl manual. Let's type uh, curl manual. So it looks like uh, it tells us a bunch of mailing list uh, meta links, IPvV6. So how you how you, how are you supposed to use this? So what what you what you want to do uh, in most cases is uh, you'll have some HTTP endpoint like uh, like this one, right? And you can type curl and then that URL that you want to call. So then it returns whatever uh, that URL invoked did. So you can see that there, there it is, and then you can do stuff like you know call that and then write it to a file like. Uh, test uh, dot JSON and then it writes it to the file and then we can just uh, you know cat that out uh, there it is so we have uh, a lot of capabilities with this already because we're it's 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 essentially uh, perfect for rest api's so now uh, how do you do specific things well by default like it, it uh, it's doing a get by default and if you want to do something like a put and you want to upload a file then you have to use the minus T option and then you would uh, type the name of the file you want and then you would type the URL you want in double quotes and um, let's just see what happens when I type Google in here I'm just curious uh, 404 you can't do that on that URL Okay, so uh, obviously you, you, the URL would need to be accepting of uh, you know you, uh, of, of that uh, particular type of invocation. So, so there's a put. How would you do a post? Uh, to do a post, I believe you want to do a uh, minus um, minus capital X. That may be a get. Hold on. Uh, one way we can we can. Uh, uh, make some curl statements very easily is um, <clears throat> da, 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 sign in. Oh my goodness! Okay, take me straight to the app, please. Yes. So one one thing we can do is uh, so here's the JSON placeholder house one, and then we're going to do a get. Just make sure it works. Um, did it not put in the right thing? Oh, my, hold on. Ah, all right. Let me get that URL one more time. Close this box. Yeah, I know. All right, let's go back here. We'll get this URL, copy that, paste it in here. Let's send this. Okay, so there's our JSON, and now what we want to do is we want to do a post on it. And then we're going to uh, save this as uh, curl. Um, oops. Oh, these are collections. Oh, you can you can export this as a curl uh, command. Uh, somehow. How do I do that again? Let's send that. Okay, it doesn't return anything. That's fine. Um. Uh, 
to export from postman to curl statement. Generate code snippets, CRL. You'll need to click the code link under the blue send button. Ah. Let's use curl. So there we go. There's our curl statement. All right. We're going to copy that. It has all our headers and everything we need to do a curl statement. And that's that's why Postman's great. Is uh, it you know it, it does a lot of stuff for you that you you don't have to do anymore. Um. So you, there, there's our headers, and then it returns it, and uh, there's our result right there. So we can use curl statements. It's great. I wonder what else is in here. Curl, HTTP, C sharp. Yeah, so this would, this would be great um, for for one of my friends that's using C sharp. Uh, he he he'll definitely get a kick out of using Postman for doing his stuff, and uh, I think it would help him a lot. Wow, this is really cool. All right, yeah, so definitely look into Postman and Curl for all of your REST applications. And then you can just choose what operation you want from here, and then you can generate the Curl statement for you. Thanks for watching.